22Q is one of the most frequently misdiagnosed syndromes in children, and yet it's also one of the most prevalent. So it's very common, one in 4,000 children. It's the second most common genetic abnormality after Down syndrome, caused by a missing section or deletion of chromosome 22. And while it doesn't always present in the same manner, it has the potential to affect almost every system in the body. You can have uh, cardiac issues, you can have immunologic issues, can have cleft lip and palate, you can have uh, just feeding issues. Dr. Peggy Eicher of St. Joseph's Children's Hospital in Patterson explains that 22Q has become the umbrella name for the disorder, which includes many syndromes and used to go by names like DeGeorge's or VCFS. 22Q is found evenly among males and females, and in about 90% of cases, it's not passed down from either parent, it's sporadic. He wasn't swallowing, he was having a lot of problems feeding, so they took him into the NICU and they told us that something was wrong. Eight-year-old Alex Dominguez was diagnosed almost immediately. His symptoms so severe, it's taken teams of specialists to treat his disorder. Because DeGeorge syndrome has such a variable phenotype, not every child presents in the same way. There's a lot of um, patients that go undetected simply because they don't have all the features. Early intervention is key for the best outcome. It's over 50%, closer to 64% of children born with 22Q will have an associated cleft or velar problem which means it's likely the patient will be completely nonverbal or have some speech issues. We never forget that the body is a system, and even though parts seem very far away, um, they were very close together when the baby was being formed in the uterus. You know, when you, when you do meet other families who've been through a similar journey, they're, they're, everybody says the same thing, yeah, that there is, you know, a lot of people just aren't educated and they just don't know and, you know, and people, people just don't know about conditions and so it's hard. Family to family contact is so important because no one knows what it's like unless you walk a mile in their moccasins. So when we can introduce two families who have a child with the same diagnoses, when those mothers talk to one another, they understand each other. Which is why the hospital recently hosted 22Q at the zoo, a worldwide awareness day. New Jersey's was held at Turtleback Zoo in Essex County to bring resources and support for the families facing the unknown. If I would say to any newly diagnosed family, like I would always say, you know, just hang in there. You know, you'll, you'll, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be okay. You find the way and you find resources and you do whatever you can. And that's our goal in life, right? As long as Alex is wearing a smile, we're, we're fine. In Patterson, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.